So guys, Alexander Govzik uh, beats Ngubu. I think that was his name. I, I'm sorry if I'm saying it wrong. Ngubu. Um, uh, he beat him in the fifth round. That Ngubu was a big underdog. Uh, and got and Govzik kind of... He, he got the job done in the fifth round, but the guy the guy suffered a big injury. I didn't I didn't see the fight. I know he suffered a, an um, an Achilles tendon injury. I think it's probably the same one as what David Hayes suffered against Tony Bellew. Um, so he he you know he suffered a Achilles tendon injury, and I think fifty eight seconds into the fifth round, the fight was stopped. So he won by technical knockout. Uh, now there's a lot of r ranting and raving about Alexander Govzik. They think that this guy's uh, a special talent. He's from Ukraine. You know, we've got Usyk, uh, Klitschko, Lomachenko. All these guys are from there, and he seems like a serious talent. Seventeen and zero. I think he's got fourteen knockouts. You know, he, he he's the one that um, knocked out Adonis Stevenson. I hope Stevenson's well. Hope Stevenson's recovering. You know, it was a it, you know it was a tragic fight, um, but Govzik got the job done against Stevenson, knocked him out, and and it looks like. He's he, he's a, he's going to be a force in the light heavyweight division. Now, the light heavyweight division, I haven't done a lot of videos on the light heavyweight division, but the light heavyweight division is stacked. There's not a lot of chatter and news in the light heavyweight division. It feels like but all of those guys are not, they don't talk a lot. They just come out and do their job and they're excellent fighters. Um, I think Govzik is, is another excellent fighter, but now we've got Govzik, Bivol, Paterbiev, uh, Kovalev. You know, and we need to see these guys fight each other and to see who the king is. Because, you know, what? before Andre Ward beat Kovalev, Kovalev was in most people's eyes the king. Uh, but it's really interesting to see who the king is right now because we know Kovalev's dipped a little bit. Um, and these guys are, are young, up-and-coming talents. So it's going to be very interesting to see who's the, who's the last man standing. I would love to, you know, for me, um, I like Bivol. Uh, but then the old, like I said, I don't know. It's so close. I can't call it. And I say I like Bivol. I like his style. And I like the way he fights. But I don't know whether he beats all the other guys. I think. I think. I think it's so. The light heavyweight division is so open, right? It's such a stacked division. There's got so many talents, and we never even know. There might be somebody that's not even champion right now that might come and dominate. We just don't know. But I think it's going to be hard for anybody to to dominate this division. The reason why I say that, because I think any of these guys can beat any of, e any of, e and they can beat each other on any given night. So that's why I think the light heavyweight division is so brilliant. I don't think there's a standout champion right now. I don't think there's a standout guy who I would say, yeah, he's the best guy or he's the guy that stands out to me. There's no one out there right now that in the light heavyweight division that I would say that is a standout guy. They're all good fighters. They're all good um, champions and we need them all to fight to see what happens but like I said I wouldn't be surprised if that guy beats that guy then that guy beat you know it could go in a circle I think it, it's one of them where there, there's not one dominant champion they're all really good and like I said on any given night each of them could beat each other so it's a, it's a, it's a stacked division and not just that I think that what the pool of fighters that we got below the champions as well are very exciting and them mixing it with the champions is great. Now we've got prospects coming through like Yard, Bwatsi, um, you know, Callum Johnson. Um, we already saw Callum Johnson in there with Baterbiev and he, he knocked Baterbiev down. So again, Callum Johnson is going to be a serious force. Marcus Brown is a brilliant fighter. Um, there's, you know, Badu Jack's going to probably come back. There's met this, the light heavyweight division is stacked. And it's going to be interesting to see who's the last man standing. But leave your thoughts, guys. Let me know what you think about Govzik and his performance. Uh, and guys, remember to please like, share and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in the next video.